Howdy. Um, after my Broken Hill video, I've had a few people contact me just asking how I did that sort of map animation showing where I was going on the trip. And um, rather than sort of keep explaining it, I thought I'd just produce a little video um, and show you step by step how to do this. Okay, so I'm in um, normal Google Maps here. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to build my own map. So if I go into my menu, then down into your places, and I come over into my maps area. This is where I store all my sort of maps that I create in Google. So I'm going to create a brand new one to scratch. Okay, so here's my blank map. I'm going to start off by giving it a name. Uh, demo um, for YouTube. Um, I'll save that. <coughs> now you can see it's just created an untitled um, layer. And this is where I can import a GPX file. Now, if you don't know how to create GPX files, um, you can, I've actually got a link up in the top corner here to a tutorial of how you actually build a GPX file from scratch using map planning software. Otherwise, if you go to, um, say, a Facebook group, uh, let's... so if you go to a Facebook group like, say, Sydney Adventure Riders, often you'll see a files folder and a lot of the GPX tracks can be downloaded from here, okay? So let's go back to the map that I've created. I've actually um, put a GPX file on my desktop for this. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm just gonna click the import button. And now I can just drag my GPX file here. It's gonna upload. And here it is. So what we're looking at now is essentially there's that that um, that route, in this particular case from Wiseman's Ferry to Hill End. And what I'm going to do if I want to animate that, um, it's pretty simple. So I'm just going to make this full screen. Um, I will sort of I'll get the map there. And what, essentially what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a screenshot of it now. So I'll just do a screenshot on the Mac. It's Shift Option Four, and I'm just going to I'll sort of go. Let's go from just under there, to the bottom left, take that shot. Now I'm gonna not move the map, I'm just gonna turn off that route, and I'm gonna take another screenshot. So using essentially the same dimensions. Okay, and now, so now I've got two images, one with the route, one without the route. <coughs> so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go into my video editing software. So I'm using, um, Premiere, but pretty much any video editing software will do this. Okay, so I'm just gonna create a new project. Um, a dummy name. Okay, so uh, so here is my, my video editing. First thing I need to do is import media. So I'm just gonna say import. I'm just going to bring in those two screenshots that um, that I just took. So here they are. Okay, so now that I've got those, I can drag them into my timeline. Okay, and and so here, if you look at it, the first one is the map without the root, and the second one is the map with the root. Okay, and that's the difference between them. So now I'm just going to add a wipe effect. So if I go into my effects and I do, um, I look for a wipe. So I can just do a, um, a lin uh, this one, video, so video transition wipe. I'm gonna put that in over the top. Uh, go a bit closer and make that a bit longer. So let's say I want that map to animate over, I don't know, four seconds. Um, so now if I kind of scroll this, scrub this through, you can see it's kind of, uh, it's just wiping between the, the map that's, um, the version of the map that's not there. Now, if I wanted to go back the other way, um, if I click the, the wipe itself, then I can actually just choose the direction. In this case, I want this east to west, but I could go west to east or northwest to southeast. So in this case, I, we're going, the starting points on the, on the right, and we're going left, so I'm gonna go um, basically east to west. So now, if I play this, there's the animated route. So it's just um, a very simple wipe. 